Hello everybody and welcome back to another modern gameplay video. Today we're playing a four color Titania Omnath ramp deck that is inspired by a list I saw by Is It Signet Is The Best who took it to a 5-0 finish in an MTGO Modern League. So thanks to Modern Horizons 2, we now have Titania Protector of Argoth in the modern format and this deck is trying to show off just how powerful it is. So let's get right to it. Hope you enjoy. All right, so let's get right into the four color Titania Omnath deck tech. So as always, the deck list link is down below in the description if you would like to follow along with it as we go through this. So Titania is five mana for a 5-3. When it enters the battlefield, you get to reanimate a land and whenever a land is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, you get to make a 5-3 elemental token, which is huge. So Titania reanimates a fetch land. You fetch immediately, you get that 5-3. So you're pretty much every time going to get 10 power for this five drop. And even more so, if you have a Dryad of the Elysian Grove allowing you to make additional land drops, play another fetch, fetch that, you get another 5-3. So Titania can be really explosive. Dryad of the Elysian Grove is another main part of our plan, which is paired with Valakut the Molten Pinnacle because Dryad makes everything into a mountain for Valakut so you can get all of those triggers. And because this is a 28 land deck, we can make all the lands we want, all the land drops, and get that Valica going really easily. And like we said before, this is also an Omnath deck. So Omnath really cares about those land drops. It's going to give you a lot of awesome abilities. So pairing this alongside Titania reanimating you a land is going to be really heckin' explosive. So that is the main idea of the deck. The rest of it is self-explanatory. But like I said, if you want to see the rest of it, the deck list links down below. So with that, let's get right into the gameplay. Hope you enjoy. And before we get into it, just a few quick plugs. Thank you so much to our patrons for making this channel possible. Their names have been scrolling on screen. And if you would like to help monetize this channel as well, you can find the Patreon link down below. And we now do commander streams with our patrons every Tuesday. And if you need to pick up some magic cards, TCGplayer.com's got you covered. You can find them through our deck list link down below and anything you purchase through that link really helps out the channel. And if you want to play some magic online, you should sign up with Mana Traders using the code that's listed in the description to save 15% and you can rent and play all the magic decks you want. It is what I personally use to make my videos. And finally, if you want to pick up a custom playmat or card sleeves using an art of your own, you can check out yourplaymat.com using the code MARIN10YP to save 10%. And of course, the links to everything are down below in the description. And with that, let's get on to the video. Hope you enjoy. Got a game here against Bullingman79 and they got a new avatar. They were rocking Kaya for a while, but now they got Venerable Lamasu? Stormwild Caprador. Yeah, all right. Oh yeah, we're gonna be on the draw and we're totally keeping this. It looks great. We played against Bullingman many times and we beat them every time. So I, it's time for them to get their vengeance and beat us. Oh, they're playing the deck that I beat them with. <laughs> I literally just beat them the other day with Affinity and now they're playing Affinity against us. All right, we're gonna get smashed when we're on the draw like this. We need them to have like the worst hand ever. All right, Elvish Reclaimer, we can go and just start grabbing our, grabbing our, our flagstones and whatnot. Oh, the Blast Zone's gonna be sick here. Please play like three signal pests so I can just like Blast Zone you. I hate when the affinity drops out in Edge Champion. It's just, I know that I can't beat it. All right. Um, what do? Like, I don't even want to Blast Zone anymore. <laughs> I want to do this painlessly. What am I going to do? Play a Blast Zone, crack the Blast Zone for, a, for a Flagstones? All right, you know what? Let's go Blast Zone. Explore, wooded foothills, crack it, get another basic forest, an abundant harvest for a land. There's a flagstone's nice. Doesn't Val- Oh yeah, you're right! Val could beat Zetch Champion! Aw, oh, sick! Just- I need them to not have like Nettle Sis and stuff. Prismatic Ending's not bad. Alright, so Dryad time. Flagstones. Let's Abundant Harvest for a land. Play Hall of Fountain. Uh, tapped. And now I just crack this for a Valka and then we start going in there. All right, well, 
I have no reason not to swing here, right? They have no flash guys. They're not going to have Tooth of Chisgoria. So I can just swing. Oh, wait, they have an Ornithopter. I'm stupid. Oh, they took it. <laughs> Free damage. All right. Whatever, whatever. Elvish Reclaimer, crack this. Grab, v wait. Oh, this is for that. Yeah, okay. Rogrim. And then this one is getting Valakut. Deal three to Etch Champion. Heck yeah. Play a basic planes. Deal three to the Ornithopter, because if they get like an equipment, I don't want them to have like flying or whatever. And then we'll prismatic ending on the Memnite, because that's their last creature, and I don't want them to have anything to equip. <laughs> and then uh we will go for Eladomri's Call. Or you know what? Let's just um I shouldn't have prismatic ending there. I should have just Omnath. I didn't realize that I had Omnath sitting there. I was just I was just like freestyling it right there. Um, but I'm just gonna hold up Blast Zone and, and Eladomri's Call. So um, if they draw like a cranial plating, I'll just tick up the Blast Zone, but they're not, so. We are going to Eladomri's Call and grab Titania, yay. All right. Oh, another Valakut. We win here. Yeah, we definitely win here. We just like Titania and we, Grab back a fetch land. Um, yeah, grab back a flagstone so that we can crack it to the Elvish Reclaimer. Deal a bunch to their face. Yeah, they're scooping it up. Oh man, the, good thing they didn't find that cranial plating earlier. That would have been a lot scarier. <laughs> Probably would have died. All right. Oh heck yeah, give me these stonies. Give me these matte stonies. Give me this force of vigors. And uh, I think that's going to be it, right? Probably not wanting Void Mirror. Oh, wait, Void Mirror stops them from dropping free affinity spells like Frogmite, Sojourner's Companion, um, Mirror Enforcer. But we're not totally sure if they got those. So maybe I don't. Um, it stops them from playing zero drops like future Memnites and Ornithopters. I'll bring it in. Uh... And then we can cut, man, I don't want to cut anything. Okay, I think Explorer's filler. Abundant Harvest is definitely filler. And then I guess Eladarby's Call is technically filler. All right. Civilization 6 is 75% off. Should I get it? I don't even know what that is. And I don't know what John Wick is. Is that like a Czech Republic thing? Like I've heard the name before, but I don't I don't know what it is. Is it like a movie? Or a TV show? Oh, that's an opening hand Stony. I am snap keeping and I even have force of vigor. Throw it all out. Come on. Just planes and go. I thought you were affinity. Why are you playing basic planes? All right. Stamvon's tap to go. John Wick is an action movie with Keanu Reeves. I've never seen a Keanu Reeves movie before. I'm not much of a TV and movie person. I haven't watched TV in like 10 years. And also same with movies. I, have, I don't really watch movies or TV. Everyone's all raving about, you know, Breaking Bad and this and that in The Office. And it's like, what? I Okay, so I've actually seen an episode of The Office a long time ago. It's pretty funny. I like how it's, it's a funny show, yet they don't have laugh tracks. Because I think laugh tracks sometimes can be cringy. But The Office is like funny, but it doesn't have laugh tracks. and just makes it even funnier.
So I, I was debating going Ren and Six and just minusing on that Mem Knight there, but I didn't want them to like play an artifact lander, cranial, and like equip and do crazy stuff. Play Springleaf Drum and activate it, and better to be safe than sorry. That signal pass, I'll just minus Ren on that. All right, Misty, crack it, grab a basic forest, Ren, minus on signal pass, and go. See, that's exactly why I played the Stony. Oh, yeah. Attacks Ren, that's fine. Tick up Ren, get back my land play a land see i really wish i had a basic island man all right play a stomping ground shock it green red white whatever blue omnath draw a card pass turn oh valica and i got the dryads too this is great turn off a lot of yields because i might need to uh force a vigor on something Looks like I won't. All right, Dryad. Valakut. And then we can minus Ren on the Mem Knight, play a Windslept Teeth, make a bunch of mana with Omnath, drop out another Dryad. Play another land, hit their face. Oh, I was gonna ghost quarter my, why'd you scoop? I was gonna ghost quarter my own flagstones, get two more land drops, and then fetch here and get another land drop, and dome you for another nine, and then swing for lethal. You ruined all the fun. <laughs> JK, thanks for playing again, Bullying Man GG again. You'll get us next time for sure, but props for playing Affinity because this deck is amazing. Although I don't know why these basic planes are in here, if I were you, I would just stick to the artifact lands. It makes more sense. Got a game here against Fire X Emblem. We won the die roll. Going to be in the play here with some four color Titania. And that looks Gucci. So Civilization 6. Is that like, what? what is that Civilization Retribution? What is that game that was like Civilization something, something Shin? What? I'm, I'm trying to remember what it was. Civilization Revolution? Was that what it was called? That's that one civilization game that was free that one time. Revolution, I got it. All right, yeah, that one. So it's like that. I got it one time because my ex told me to download it to play with him and uh, it was boring and I stopped playing it. <laughs> All right. So, it seems like a cool concept, but I'm more of a fan of games with customizability. I know civilization games are all about customizability and whatnot. Ooh, oh, Prismatic getting into a non-land permanent. You know what I'm gonna do? Oh yeah, you already know. Give me that, give me that map. And now this, this Elvish Reclaimer is probably gonna have to go looking for a ghost quarter. All right, Abundant Harvest. I need lands, give me a land. I really like Abundant Harvest, such, a, such an amazing mid-range card. It's It feels good every single time you cast it. It can never not feel good because it always gives you what you wanna see. That's the beauty of it, it's like, Probably one of the best cantrips ever printed. And it's green, <laughs> it's not even blue. You'd expect it to be like that. Okay, D please tell me it enters untapped. Dang it, it enters tapped. All right, Steven's tapped, go, and we're gonna have to Elvish Reclaimer for a Ghost Quarter. Please, opponent, please don't assemble Natural Tron. Don't be a jerk, don't be a luck sack. Oh, thank goodness, I got scared. Sylvan's crying. Urza's Tower. All right. 
Do we have like a field of ruin or something? Does it have to be ghost quarter? I guess it's gotta be ghost quarter. Ooh, dryad. All right, cool. Fetch. Get another basic forest. Dryad. And next turn we can go for the Titania all out play. Let's ghost quarter their, what do they find? They got a tower. Okay, let's hit their power plant. Oh, I, I just realized I lost the land. Now I need another land to get Titania out. Tower. All right, come on, fizzle. Just fizzle out from here. And we got a land. All right, sick. Play the land. Play Titania. Green. Whatever. Green. get back I, I think i heard my discord beep i didn't mute my server so that was probably a dm so don't mind don't mind my discord beep guys that wasn't your discord that was mine all right crack this make a five three Get a Rogger in trial. Go to combat and swing. All right, do we have lethal? Oh, I think we're one short of lethal, but actually not because, oh no, no, we got lethal. I was gonna say we can fetch a Valica with the Elvish Reclaimer and then fetch our land and that would be enough. Why not get Ghost Quarter there? Because I did. I already did. It's in the graveyard. Oh, you're right. Reanimate the Ghost Quarter. You're right, Carol. I should have. Totally forgot. I was just trying to assemble lethal there. But it was the same thing because Ghost Quarter would have entered the grave. Yeah, that was totally correct. I, I forgot. But it looks like the opponent's not assembling Tron here anyways, so we're good. They just be tapping out. They did assemble Tron and they have Thrag Tusk. They have a worm coils their last card. All right, so I'm gonna have to win via via what should we call it? Valka triggers. All right, let's get Valka. Deal three to their face. Play Omnath, white, blue, green, red. Oh, oh, I could have won if I fetched this. I wasn't expecting that I was gonna top deck a fetch there. Oh my goodness. Can I win by killing Worm Coil here? Can I win by just swinging at them here? They're gonna gain six. They can block one of our five threes and the others will be seven. If I put them to two, I can put them to one. Oh no. So if I swing, if I kill the Worm Coil, they block both my five threes. Oh man. Oh, no, 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 we got it, we got it, because I can play Ren here. And then I can ping their face for one. Yeah, we win. I botched that so hard, guys, I'm sorry. But, yeah, because I should have got back the Ghost Quarter, I just didn't see it. But... All right, play a Temple Garden tapped. Make a bunch of mana with Ren. We ping their face for one and just swing, and that's exact C's lethal. That was almost a punt. That was almost a punt, but it was saved. 
Also good to see you again, Carol. Welcome back. Our Ky Kyrill, it's Kyrill. Dang it, it's Kyrill, I forgot. All right. Um, every time I, I see your username, I just think of that, that, that fox face. All right, we're going up against Trons. Probably want Void Mirror and Damping Sphere. Um, Force of Vigor. Right? Do we want Force of Vigor? I think we do. And Stony Silence. Surgical Extraction. Alpine Moon. Just everything. Path hits Worm Coil, but... Uh, I don't know. Like, okay. So the thing is with surgical extraction, I can like grab a ghost quarter with the Elsha claimer. I can ghost quarter something and then I can surgically extract it. But that's a little needy. I think that that might be a little slow. Alpine moon's great. Stony's great. Force of vigor. I feel like I probably don't need unless it's a Karn variant, like a Karn great creator variant, which most likely it is. Void mirror can annoy them. But it's not, it doesn't totally stop them because they still have eggs to crack. They still have basic forest and, but it could be annoying to disrupt natural Tron. Damping Sphere stops Tron. I think we'll just bring in these and cut one path, cut the Eladomri's calls and cut some abundant harvests. Let's cut one explorer, keep one uh, Eladomri. Okay, let's try like that. Reclaimer to find a ghost quarter, followed by a very slow Omnath. I don't think that's gonna do. Stony, Prismatic. Okay, I'll keep Prismatic because we can hit the turn one map. So let's keep this. And let's bottom Windslide Teeth. Come on, opponent. Don't disappoint me. Drop out the map. They mulligan to five. Oh, please drop out the map. Star, I'll happily, I'll happily exile that. It's fine. Prismatic Ending is such a good spell. Hey, look at that. The Moto Scrybug. I bought him to Windslept Heath and I top decked one. Wow. They're going to find Natural Tron on a Mulligan to five. It's happened to me in the past before. And I know it's about to happen again. But one can only hope. They didn't. All right, sick. I need a ghost quarter bad. Ooh, the Valakut. All right, give me a basic forest, dryad, Valakut, go. We are so close. I need Elvish Reclaimer. Can't activate that. They scoop? You could have topped that Tron. What was I going to get? Misty. So I would have turned on Valakut there because it's just double fetch land, double fetch. I would have got how many triggers? I would have got three Valakut triggers there. Attack them down to nine. And Valakut and the Elvish Reclaimer to get a Ghost Quarter. All right. So it could have it could have worked. But yeah, they, I think they scooped a little bit early there. But GG to Sean. And now that we're about halfway through the video, if you felt it has earned a like, a comment, or a share, I really appreciate it. It helps grow the channel. All right. Thank you. Got a game here against Trent. We win the die roll. Going to be in the play with some four color Titania. And we have green. We don't have green. So that's unfortunately going to be a mulligan. That one does have green and it's got red. So I will keep it. And I'll bottom one of these Titanias. Because we only need the one. Got access to our path too, it's looking good. 
No Zern Orb? No, because we're we're not comboing with Titania. We're just using her for mid-range purposes. Oh, a Swift Spear. I will still play red and take it up. And if they want to like swing it red and bolt it, that's fine. Because that's taking some damage away from my face. All right. So we're going up against Blitz or Burn. I'm thinking actually Burn here because Inspiring Vantage. Could still be Luvomancer plus a Dragon Race Channeler. Yeah, it's Burn. All right. I'm surprised. I have not seen anybody cast a single, um, a single, uh, what's that, that Flame Rift? I, I haven't seen a single Flame Rift yet. It's just been nowhere to be seen. Ooh, Omnath's coming down next turn. Can give me some life. It's gonna be hard to kill. And then if Omnath lives, then Titania comes down and reanimates the fetch. It's gonna be so good. Unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to shock this Misty because we don't have any basic islands. Yeah, it's unfortunate that we don't have any basic islands here. Man, the opponent's got a heavy burn draw. Oh, Eidolon too. All right, I'm gonna path the Swiss Spear and leave the Eidolon because currently I'm playing a four and a five drop, which don't care about Eidolon, but it's just still annoying. Cause I can still pump a bunch of X into Prismatic Ending. I don't need it to be like, CMC3. All right, I have to get a breeding pool. I need green, but I also need, maybe I get a temple garden. Yeah, let's get a temple garden. Shocked, white, red, green, blue, Omnath. And next turn is going to be awesome with the whole Titania, Omnath, gain four life. Ramp a bunch. I don't even know if I want to explore, but I could get another 5-3 if I do. Maybe get them to the point where they're going to be locked under their own Eidolon. Skullcrack, all right. Sorcery speed Skullcrack, I like it. All right, opponent, you're in a world of hurt here. You should have saved that Skullcrack. Now I get to gain all this life. Why did you do it sorcery speed? All right, I gain four, I play Titania, and I reanimate a fetch, and I crack the fetch. Titania is gonna make a 5-3. We go and get a, doesn't really matter, right? Stomping grounds. I don't think I wanna explore. I don't wanna take the two damage. Let's go to combat, swing for four, try to lock them under their own Eidolon. I think we just win next turn if they can't kill us here. So they need an EOT spell, and they didn't have any. All right, we win, we win. There's no way. Yeah, double Eidolon, you are completely locked now. You cast two spells and you explode, and I'm swinging at you for mega lethal. And guess what? Guess what I'm about to do? I'm about to gain four life. <laughs> go to combat, swing in there. I can even ghost quarter my own land and get two five three elementals if I ghost quarter myself. Yep, they scoop it up. Sick. All right, let me catch up on chat here. Let me just let me just sideboard real quick. Um, so against Boyne, we're going up against Boyne. Bring in nothing. All right, I think we're just submitting it right back. Yeah. Yeah, we have no burn hate in the board. Hey, Sea Biscuit San, how's it going? What about White Source? What about White Source? Oh yeah, it was Rogren Trium. Will we ever get another Channel Point song? Did I ever even have? Oh yeah, I did the. Somebody once told me. Um. Well, Smash Mouth is a dead meme, by the way. 
think we're going to... I have to shock here for an Elvish Reclaimer that's just going to get killed. Like, I don't know about this. I think I'm going to keep it. Because one more land, I can get down Omnath. I can Prismatic Ending a one drop. I'm not going to shock though, even though it could potentially save us some damage, but I'm just going to get the raw grim out there. Use her as a commander second only to Kalia. They're not similar. What you talking about? You use Titania as a replacement for Kalia. They're not even the same colors. The 20 months. Oh my goodness, Drew. I did not see that there because still my dono notifications do not work. I really, really have to just hardcore look into that again because I've hardcore looked into that like four times the past like four times you've donated and I've looked into it and just cannot figure out the solution. And it's just, just eluded me the whole time. And oh my goodness. It I swear, like half of my Twitch income has come from you, Drew. Seriously. That's insane. I can't thank you enough. That is incredible. It helps out so much. I really, 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 really appreciate that. Middle of the road power level, I got you, man. I got you. I'm gonna over the next couple weeks, every time when I go to bed and I'm just on my phone. And I'd like to brew commander decks. I'll be brewing up some uh, Dacon. Did you want combos or no combos? I usually don't put, yeah, you miss a spooky bean if I miss it too, but it, it scared some people. Um, so, wait, what am I doing here? Hold on a second. What am I doing here? I feel like I have to just take up Blast Zone to two. And then blow it up, cause like, this is seriously a problem. Um, I miss Boogie Bean too, but it scared some people. So I, I personally don't put combos in my commander decks, Drew. So if you want combos, let me know. I can toss some in there. But otherwise, it'll just be like a, a, a Dacon Synergy mid-range deck. I wish I had a Painless Land. I didn't have to shock. I couldn't have known I was going to top deck Sacred Foundry, so it would have been better if I just like played a tap land and then went to play Omnath this turn, but I couldn't have known I was going to top deck a, a untapped colored source. So. <gasps> they have nothing. Oh my goodness. All right. Um, let's get out Elvish Reclaimer. Oh wait, I should have got I should have played red and six there. Forgot he was in my hand. I just played the first green spell I saw. <laughs> I'm gonna bolt my face and no skull crack. Alright, alright. Oh, if we can top deck a land here, we can gain four life with Omnath. Come on. Come on. Siri Oh, come on, give me a land drop. Give me a land. I we're 28 lands. We are 28 lands. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, well, the opponent still, in theory, has a top deck burn, so blue, red, white, green. They still, oh wait, give me a land, give me a land. Oh, please, we're 28 lands. Don't top deck burn, don't top deck burn. Oh my goodness, they didn't top deck burn, did they? Ah, oh, they sandbagged it. Rip off. Oh, I would have topped the land there, dude. 
It was right there. It was the next draw. Are you serious? All right, well, we're on the play now, so it should be a lot better. You were thinking Voltron? All right, I got you. It's going to be hard to play Voltron when your commander is six mana. I can make it work, but like there is decks like that. Like, you know, Prosh is technically Vol Voltron. It's competitive and it's based around your commander. Not really. You kind of just use your commander for a combo piece, but you don't really cast it unless you got food chain. All right. Um, wait, Luris Burn. All right, I'll keep this. Again, the blast zone's kind of screwing me. I've had Rogren Triome in every opener. I think what helped me in the last game is just playing Ren and taking it up so that I can kind of like distract them. So I'm going to do that again here. Let's go ahead and play Ren and just take it up. And see if I can just get them to like bolt Ren and attack Ren. Because that, that's probably like saving that damage in game one is probably what saved me. Double Mountain. Are they white screwed? It'd be good if they are that you don't have to worry about Boros Charms. Who are you swinging at? Swings at me. Okay. Uh, well, let's prismatic ending, which I could just be debated here. I could just be being debated. All right, let's get a basic plane so we can hold up Ella Domri's call, tick up and get the winds of teeth back. Here go. And we'll go get an Omnath here because Omnath can gain us life. This deck really needs one basic island, I swear. It really does. They're hitting Ren. Oh, that's not going to my face. Okay. I am very happy with that. I am very, very happy with that. That is okay. That is okay by me. Or you know what? I could also get Dried of Elysian Grove because it can give me an additional land drop. And I, I have Valakut in hand. So I think I might just go with Dryad. Because they also can't really kill it that easily, because it's a it's a it's a whatever for a two four. So I like it's gonna make me take damage too. So maybe I shouldn't. I mean Omnath is probably just safer and smarter, right? Gains me life. It doesn't make me take an Eidolon trigger. Draws me a card. And I have the blast zone to kill the yeah, let's just take an Omnath, be safe about it. All right, Misty Rainforest, Crack It, Shock A, Steam Vents, Blue, Red, Green, White, Omnath, Draw a Card, Ghost Quarter. So if they get a White Source, I can Ghost Quarter it. Yeah, I had to like fetch and shock that too. Maybe I should have just grabbed a dryad. I don't know. You feel Chromium is a better Esper Voltron commander? It's pure nostalgia thing. So did you still want it to be um did you still want it to be whatchamacallit? Oh Blastland's gonna get some good value here. Did you still want it to be Dacon or did you want it to be Chromium instead? And if so, did you want it to be the old Chromium or the new Chromium? Because I think the new Chromium is, is way better. I've actually considered building new Chromium because it's just such a cool guy. He's just like so resilient. You can just run all the Wraths because he can gain Indestructible, right? Hexproof Indestructible. So you can just like do that ability and then make him... Make him into a... I'm not taking the bait. I'm just going to take this because I don't want my Omnath to die. It's gaining me life. You can just like make him indestructible and then sweep the board. So it's kind of like Avacyn in a way, but Esper Control instead of Mono White Angels. All 
All right, let's um, blow up blast zone. Let's abundant harvest for a non-land prismatic ending. All right, play a Valakut. And then with Eladomri's, we will go and get, oh, they're gonna skull crack us. It's, oh, oh, they're gonna double bolt. They should have done that earlier, what? Come on, opponent, just letting us gain four life. I'll be able to get the Dryad now, and then I can start doing the Valakut thing. What's up, Crash? How you doing? How's your day? Lightning Helix, we're down to 11. I am fine with that. All sorcery speed, I don't care. All right, let's go Windslept Teeth, crack it, get a basic forest. Let's Eladomri's Call, grab Dryad, play Dryad. Play a, oh, I should have played the Ghost Quarter, dang it. I should have played the Ghost Quarter and hit the, the Sacred Foundry so I could have white screwed them. All right, well, it's all right. We'll do it next turn. They're gonna have another chance to cast their white spell, which is, yeah, it was their last card in hand too. That's so unfortunate. That would have been it right there. That that would have been it. All right, well, we're good, we're good, we're good because we got Eladomri's Call. And you know what we're gonna do with this? We're gonna go get a Dryad, yay. And then we can play a Ghost Quarter, Valk with their face. Yes, and go ahead and ghost quarter your sacred foundry so you have no more white. And let's abundant harvest for a non-land. Ooh, red and six. Oh, I got another land drop, would you look at that? <laughs> and let's play a red and six. Red, green. Tick up, reanimate Ghost Quarter. So next turn we can Ghost Quarter our own land and get a bunch of ETB triggers. Does Zero North have, have any place in Modern? I mean, if you're trying to be cute and just like do a Titania combo, I mean, sure, because that probably, if you're gonna combo a Titania, I think Zero Norb is the way to do it. Um, All right, Ghost Quarter. Oh, wait, we have no basics to fetch. All right, let's just minus on their face with Ren and go attacking for two. That was very roughly played, but we still got there. All right, GG, taking down burn. We didn't even need any sideboard burn hate. We kept it as is and still smashed them. I think it all happened when they chose to double bolt our red and six. Otherwise, we would have been at three life right now. And if we were at three, then they could have won by top decking a burn spell. But if that was the case, I wouldn't have grabbed Dryad. I would have grabbed Omnath and just gained like 16 life by now. So that works too. Seeing as how you got the three Omnaths, and the, the three Eladomri's calls, it's like you got six ways to gain life main deck, so that works pretty good. So GG. Got a game here against Squidward2000, and we're gonna be in the draw with some four color Titania, and this looks bootyful. I'm gonna keep it. Explore is just one of the most satisfying cards in Magic the Gathering history to cast. It's just, it just feels so good to just cantrip and play another land. It's just, it, it's a really satisfying little thing to play. All right. Drop out a breeding spool and pass. Moderna. Yeah, it's it's a cool name. It sounds very Italian, like Bertoli, but it's Moderna. All right. I watched this YouTube channel called Kara Nate, and they finally flew internationally again and went to Italy and they went to Rome and Rome's super beautiful. It's like every single building has this like very classic looking wear and tear on it that just makes it look so authentic and so just old fashioned and it just looks amazing. All right, play a flagstone to trail care, explore. Okay, there is a dryad. 
if we can get another dryad, or we can get this titania down after the dryad, we can kill this gristle brand. The question is, are we going to die to some kind of combo here? So it looks like they're playing Living Fatties. However, when I played li both times, I actually played Living Fatties. I didn't play Gristlebrand because it doesn't have haste. I only played hasters. All right, another Neonate. They're drawn seven cards. Hold on, turn off a lot of yields. Because if they thought to use this, I'm scooping. I don't want them to get information. Guy oh, they're a Gyruda deck. They're gonna persist Gyruda, but it only is oh, I thought it was a cast trigger. Alright, it's not. So Gyruda persist. Interesting. Prismatic ending can't deal with that. Alright, so um Yeah, I can't deal it with it in two turns, so let's scoop. Oh, I could have maybe played Omnath and, and cantrip into a path. Let me see. Nope. All right, we have Surgical Extraction. Give me that. Give me, um, that's it. Just Surgical. Yeah, just Surgical. So cut Prismatic Ending because it doesn't hit any other fat stuff. So cut that and run it back. All right, let's try it. Veil of Summer is a maybe. They might have Hand Disruption, not sure. What's up, Jackal Shin? Good to see you again. How's it going? That is acceptable. It's got a path, so I'm happy with the path. Fetch. Forest. Looks like we're just playing green white right now. So I can just like crack this plains for a uh, flagstones and then just start cracking flagstones. Been playing Modern? Nice, what you been playing? Because like Modern Horizons 2 birthed so many amazing decks into the format that it's just like, it's like incredible. All right, just pass a turn, leave up Elvish Reclaimer. We'll go and grab our flagstones here. Our Flintstones of Trocare. What do you think about the Jund Asmirano Vengevine deck? Well, I brewed it up and I actually feel... Why did they bring in Stony Silence? I actually feel like... I'm not a big fan of the Rootwalla, the Rootwalla Vengevine variant. It's cool in theory, but it just wasn't as consistent as the version I played on day one. All right, give me flagstones, flintstones of trocare. All right, oh, there's a wren. So let's, oh man, what do? All right, let's shock here, play wren, get back a windswept heath. I'm just getting there for one. Cathartic Reunion, sure. There's Gristlebrand and Gyruda. Gyruda's gonna be annoying. All right, what if Foothills crack it, get a forest, take up Ren, get back the wooded Foothills, play a Dryad of Elysian Grove. Play the Wooded Foothills and let's activate Elvish Reclaimer now. Just save time, do it now so I can F6. But then I can't hold a path, so I probably should have not F6. All right, give me Rogrim. And you know what? Actually, give me Valakut here. I shouldn't have uh, done that on my turn sorcery speed to get that F6 value because I could have actually held up a spell. Usually I, I just do that when I have nothing to hold up, but I, I totally forgot I had a path to hold up. But yeah. 
If everything I have is sorcery speed, I will just do that literally to save time, but forgot about the path. So hopefully we don't get screwed for that. Twiddle storm and paper? Oh, nice. I like me some twiddle storm. All right, opponent, you're dead. Unless you got a way to gain life, you're dead. I can get so many landfalls here. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have first cracked a land with this and fetched another Valica. That's what I should have done. I made all these little tiny uh, unoptimal plays, but again, I'm just like, I'm in the zone right now freestyling because I'm streaming in front of a bright light and commentating and trying to be entertaining. So it's like, if you, if you like, a lot of people don't like realize that like it's a lot different when you're off stream because when you're off stream, you, you don't have, you're not in front of this super bright light, like on the spot with like a mic in front of your face, trying to be entertaining to an audience and just having to commentate what you're doing. And it's just like, you overlook so many things when you're in that kind of zone. But if you're off stream and you're just like, you're just chilling, you got some music on maybe, and you're not talking to anyone, you're just focusing on the game, you can play optimally. But yeah, you miss so many little tiny details and things in the game when, when you're streaming, trying to be entertaining. All right, so we're going up against what? I totally forgot. I was just talking and I, I totally forgot what we're going up against. It was like some kind of combo deck, right? Yeah, it was Gristlebrand. So let's just submit it right back. We already got what we need. We got what I need. Yo, what's up, Jack Sabbath? Long time no see. How's it been? Hello. Hello, Loita. Whatever happened to your green screen? I don't use it anymore because, I mean, first of all, the green screen I had in the last place I lived is gone. I threw it out because it was very dusty. It was just hanging behind me forever for years. Um, let's, uh, let's mulligan this. That's better. Throw away one of these three reclaimers. And so I got a new green screen. It's one of those Elgato ones that you can just like, just roll up like that and then at the end you can just roll it back down it's like one of those rolling green screens um but i don't really use it because there's a couple reasons it's like not wide enough it's like i put it behind me and it's just like you can still see past it because it's just only like five feet it's like i need like at least a 10 foot green screen for it to actually be covered in the camera like you know for, for it to actually cover my background like that thing's too small and also it's just annoying to set up every time because like I I don't have a bed frame like I sleep on the floor of my mattress and like when I record I have to like pick up my mattress too so it's like it'd be like just an extra step like pick up my mattress put down the green screen and it's just like an extra step that's just annoying and and I just I don't feel like the green screen's super needed I, I feel comfortable with this little box it's more chill and people my viewers don't seem to mind it all right there's an omnath that's cool ten feet like your mom your mom's ten feet tall when she lays on her back All right, Cathartic Reunion, Ditching Realm, <laughs> they got a Realm Razor. Oh, I got to hold up removal for that. Cannot let that thing resolve. I wish I had a Scavenger Grounds, man. Right, give me a Raw Grand Triome and give me another Flintstones. All right, play Novus Reclaimer. Pass the turn. Still missing my land drops in a 28 land deck. Why not get a Murphy bed? What's a Murphy bed? 
I use a twin size mattress. I've used a twin size mattress all my life. I, I don't know what it's like to have a queen size mattress like everyone else does or like a large twin. I always use the skinny small twin beds that are meant for children because that's all I could ever get my entire life. I've never been able to. Oh wait, they living in it. I wasn't paying attention. I was reading, I was talking to chat. Oh no. Uh, yeah, we lose now. Um, so that's game because Realm Razor is a thing. So GG. Got a game here against Anus1, a uh, longtime opponent of ours. They are a viewer of the channel and they, um, they were the creator of Mono Whitetron, the idea, the Starnheim Tron that we played on the channel that was like, it was like they were the one who played against us with it originally and we figured that out midway through the video. Yeah, so they're responsible for Starnheim Tron and it is really cool. If you haven't seen the Star the Angels Tron, Monoway Tron, go check it out. All right, we're going up against Heliot Company, it appears to be. Let's play Elvish Reclaimer, and we got the Flagstones to go with it. The Flintstones to go with it. I'm hoping they just play like a million Utopia Sprawls here so I can just like blast zone him. Lumbering Falls, interesting. Okay, you've piqued my interest. Is it just gonna be a Nissa deck or something? All right, Flintstones go. I'm tempted to actually Eladomri's call here for a Dryad. I think I'm gonna do that. Oh, is it just Simic Flash? Oh no. Okay, because they got Frilled Mystic Mana up, I'm just actually going to just use the Elvish Reclaimer here. Alright, give me a Aurogrin Trial. And give me another Flintstones. Oh, we drew the, the Dryad anyways. Okay. Let's let's attempt to play it. Frilled Mystic? Mystic Snake. Green and untap the green. Yeah, it is. There is a Venzer. It could be a Venzer. It's a Mystic Snake. All right, we knew it. Valka and go. So it's very telegraph, so maybe I shouldn't have just played into it. Now they're holding up a voracious great shark. All right, well, that's gonna be annoying. I could attempt, oh no, I can't play Titania here. All right, blast zone, and we'll just hold up um, Ella Domri's plus activate Elvish Reclaimer. So let's just pass. Let them flash in their great shark for no value. No great shark. Okay, they're gonna keep it back. Hold it up for our Titania. Are they like stream sniping or something? They're not. Okay, good. Flooded Strand does not play anything. Okay. Gar okay, in response to them untapping... Okay, I'll let that resolve. In response to them untapping lands with it, though, I'll cast my Eladomri's Call. And I think I want to get an Omnath... Yeah, because I have enough mana to be able to play Omnath, play a land drop, get the four mana from it, play a Titania. But yeah, it would do us more better than Dryad here because I actually don't have land drops to follow up with for Dryad. So we're getting Omnath. All right. 
crack the Rogger and try him. Get a Temple Garden. And with this, we are going to grab... Oh man, so if I grab a fetch land here, I can actually guarantee a land drop off of Omnath. But let's just do the smart thing and just get another Flagstones. Did not get the land, but let's go white, green, red, blue. Go ahead and counter it. They do have a Venzer, or a Frilled, or another Mystic Snake. Subtlety. All right, sure. Um, it doesn't matter. We'll put it on top, but we're going to fetch anyway, so it doesn't matter. Actually, I will I will draw it here. I will draw it here. Let's keep this back as a blocker for Mystic Snake. Actually, let's path on their draw step. Now for a while, I've actually this has been on my brewing list. I've been meaning to uh to brew Simic Flash for uh, this Modern Horizons 2 season, but I haven't gotten around to it yet because there's just so much to do with Modern Horizons 2. Like it gave us so much content and like there's not ever been a set that's given us this much content before. But yeah, this is on my list of things to get to is Simic Flash because I feel like it's really, really good with the uh, subtlety and just frilled Mystic, Mystic Snake, and you got really good mana dorks. The combination of Arbor Elf, Noble, and Utopia Sprawl is like the best ramp. For that and just ramp up tier four drops and counter everything and but i was more thinking on the lines of going heavier blue and going tempo just like you know merfolk trickster and counter spell and remand that's something huge What even is this? Is it like a pull from tomorrow? Hydrate Crisis. That's the reason that they're going heavy or green and running Utopia Sprawls. All right, well, I do have another path, so I can deal with that. Hopefully they're out of counter magic here. So let's play Omnath. White, green, red, and blue. Draw a card. Ooh, nice. I got a fetch. Sweet. I want to play Titania. So let's activate Elvish Reclaimer here on the Flintstones. Grab a Hollowed Fountain. Say no, get some mana with Omnath. Fetch with Reclaimer. We're going to go and get a another Flagstones. Crack this fetch. Get a basic forest. Play Titania. And it enters untapped too, so we're gonna get a, we're gonna get a flagstones here. Legend rule: keep the untapped one. Say yes. Go and grab a sacred foundry. We still get these omnath abilities, but they only trigger once. They only trigger once. All right. Path of the hydroid crisis. Now that was a good turn. That is what we wanted to do. All right, your go, opponent. Now we can Eladomri's for our Dryad and start using this Valakut. 
And then Elvish Reclaimer to go and fetch another Valica. That'd be good. I love that Elvish Reclaimer doesn't have to use a green to use his ability. It's just too colorless. That's what makes it so easy to use, so much easier, because it would have screwed us so many times if it had to use green to do that. So I'm very glad it doesn't. They did it right. They made this card good and correct. I think it's queen scratched. I think. I don't know. The best beds are Formula One racing car beds. I don't think I've ever seen one of those in real life. NASCAR beds are better. So what's the difference between Formula One and NASCAR? Is it that NASCAR are like cars and the Formula Ones are those like, those things that aren't technically cars are like these like sleek looking machines, but is that the difference? Is that they're those weird looking cars and then NASCAR is actually just cars. They're killing Titania. No, they found it. Oh, they top decked the Ballista. No, they're going to kill Omnath too. It's actually fine because I'll be able to resolve my Dryad here and then just like shoot the Ballista with the Valkyrie trigger. And then I have a backup Titania as well. All right, green, white, Ella Domri. Grab Dryad. Play Dryad. Let's activate Elvish Reclaimer. Grab a Valakut. Deal three to Ballista, three to Garrick. Gonna deal one damage to my face, sure. Play Wind's Left Heath, deal three to Mystic Snake, because I'm gonna swing at them for five, don't want them chum blocking, and then three to their face. And fetch, grab a Breeding Pool, tapped. Let's go three to Arbor Elf, because I don't want them ramping for an extra three mana if they draw some crazy big bomb. Go to combat and swing four, five. All right, another good turn. And here we go. All right, what you gonna do? I can't think of a single thing that they can do here that can beat this. Yep, they are scooping it up. Nice. All right, on to sideboard against Simic Flash. Um. Hmm. I don't think I want anything. I mean, Force of Vigor can hit Utopia Sprawls, but that's not enough. I probably want this Veil of Summer. Um, yeah, just that. What does this thing even do? If no colored man, okay, yeah. Veil of Summer over like a path or something, or probably, yeah, probably a path. Prismatic Ending already does the job, right? Or you know what? I think I like the path better than the prismatic here because it can hit their four drop like their their things like because it's gonna be hard for a prismatic. Ah, uh, oh no! Let's just cut and explore. It's technically filler. All right, yeah, because I can't decide on which one of those to cut. Prismatic ending can hit the hydroid crisis for two, but it can't hit frilled mystic as easily. That's a great looking hand right there. Do I wait on Ren and Six when I can protect it? I don't think so. Oh, I wish I was in the place so I could minus Ren on that. All right. Let's play Rogram. Here go. If I draw another green source, I'm for sure going to wait on Ren until I can hold up Veil of Summer. What do you have for triple green? Tracker. Um, 
I think I want a path tracker before they can get any value off of it. So let's stop on their draw step. I don't want them to get any clues. This is going to be a grindy game, so every bit of value I can prevent, I will. What's up, Abraham? Here's a brew I'm working on. Anybody want to check that out at your own risk? I mean, I do have a channel points reward for checking out decks because it does take up time in the stream and some screen time as well. That's why I have it as a channel points reward. Oh man, they're, they're for sure countering this Ren. I don't think I'm going to play into that, honestly. I'm just going to wait until I can hold up Veil of Summer. I'm just going to, I'm going to try to resolve an EOT Eladomri's call, get them to counter that, and then I'll resolve my Ren. Okay, let's respond to that and do our Eladomri's. White and green. Okay, I think I'm going to go for an Omnath here because I want that value. This is, this is going to be a grindy game, so I need that value. All right, Omnath it is. You know, honestly, Elvish Reclaimer wouldn't have been a bad idea. Trying to get it to work? What's it about? Strike It Rich. Strike It Rich is a cool card, but it's like not good. It, it like looks like it would be good, but it's like not. Oh, do they not have a counter? All right, I'm gonna attempt it. Green, white, red, blue. Omnath. They do? Okay, is it like a remand? If it's a romantic, I don't mind. It's probably an Aether Gust. Counterspell? Romantic? Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Because now I can hold up Veil of Summer. It's good in Mono Red Storm and Legacy? Yeah, that'd be pretty good. I can see it being good in some, in some very niche decks, but I don't see it being just like a good card for mid-range. All right, what if foothills? Let's go for this Omnath. In response, get a basic forest and Veil of Summer. Yeet! Yay, I draw a card. I, cr I won mana crypto commanded. Ooh, Titania is so good after an Omnath. Reanimating a fetch and getting those ETB triggers. Making that four mana so I can play Ren. So good. Feel the Ruin. Please hit my flagstones with that Feel the Ruin. Beast Within's Omnath. Okay, well, at least I still got something to trade with their beast. Untaps two lands. All right, I will trade. So I can still go Titania into Ren here and make how many beast tokens? How many 5-3 elementals? Two? Make 15 power off of this one 5 drop. Oh, time for an X spell. They're just going to do a Hydrate Crisis, draw one card, and gain one life. Ballista for three. Okay, that's going to be able to kill Titania. That's a little annoying. Okay, play a Fetch. Play Titania. Still got to do it. Reanimate a Fetch. Please let it resolve. Don't 
don't kill it. Please. Oh, they're doing the thing. All right, I'll make my thing. But do I want to shock and play red is the other question. I don't know if it's worth paying the life right now. I'm in a little bit of danger. Wait. Oh, Titania's still gonna die. I was about to say, I was like, what happened? Um, I don't think I wanna pay the life to play, to play red in here. I'd be shocking twice. That's getting me real low. I'm gonna say no. All right, well, I got another thing to trade with at least, and I have another Titania to back it up next turn. And I can still do the same thing again. Of course, Aether Gust. Good top deck. They're not attacking with Arbor Elf. Okay, that's a little spooky. It's gotta be the Great Shark. Makes another beast. Ooh, please, please resolve, please. <gasps> it resolved, yes. All right, kill a beast. Another Valka, kill a beast. Kill Garrick. Oh, I can't shock here. Play red. Red. Green. Minus kill Arbor Elf. I think we turned it all around with that top deck Dryad. <laughs> They're untapping a land. In response, let's fetch. Get a Temple Garden. Kill Mystic Snake. Shoot their face. Which I should have waited until after they did something. If they have anything at all. Because then they might play another big thing. Like if they have a Great Shark, I'll be forced to chump. And I'm at Xaxxes 5 too. Why did they not fill the ruin our our Valka right away? All right, that's fine because I I can just get that back with red. Or or Titania, either or. All right, looks like we're safe to live another turn. Could I have killed them if I just threw all the damage at their face? I wasn't gonna risk it, they had mana up. They could have also just field of ruin at any moment. Garrick's okay. Ooh, all right, plus red, get back Valakut. Play Valakut, shoot their face. Yes and yes, Titania. Reanimate a land, get lethal, shoot your face, and that's all she wrote. All right, I really like Simic Flash. It, I feel like it needs a lot of work, needs a lot of brewing, but I feel like it has a potential. It wasn't dedicated Flash with like Frilled Mystics, Venzers, and just like a bunch of Flash guys, but I feel like it could really be super solid right now because it was insane in Pioneer. Like if you haven't seen us play Cynic Flash in Pioneer, it was like a video from a year ago and you're interested in the Pioneer format, you should go and check that out. You see how much of a force to be reckoned with that the Cynic Flash deck really is. And with subtlety being in modern, I really think it could be a thing in modern. But yeah, GG to Anus one. All right, so let's talk about some four color Titania Omnath midrange lands. I absolutely love this deck. It worked out so 
well, I can't think of a single problem with it other than the fact that it doesn't have a basic island. That would be the one little detail I'd probably change about this list is I'd put the one basic island. Other than that, it ran super smooth, really buttery smooth. I like it. Titania was amazing. Just the fact that she just like ramps you for one when she enters was very, very clutch for a lot of our plays. And um, Omnath is a great value piece. I love that you can go one of three plans when you have the Eladomri's call. It's like you can either go for the Valakut play, you can go for the value play, or you can go for the aggro play. It's like you have three different really good options. Ren is great support. Path in Prismatic Ending, I feel like this is a great little removal suite right here. Abundant Harvest was just solid for setting us up for whatever we wanted to go for. Elvish Reclaimer is a great little setup piece early game with those Flagstones of Trocare. And I actually thought in the beginning that we wouldn't have enough basic planes or uh, enough planes cards to support Flagstones, but it actually worked out really well. Had no problem with the amount of planes we had in here. I would say your one filler slot has got to be these explorers. Other than that, put a basic island, mess around with the explorer slot, or keep the explorers, your choice. And that is basically just a really solid deck. I, I love it a lot. I've played many, many of these land style Elvish Reclaimer two, three, four color mid range primetime decks on the channel. And I would probably say this one's my favorite. I've I've even seen more people playing just your typical Omnath mid range, like in leagues and stuff and five owing, but it's like none of them have committed to Titania like this one does. And I think Titania really fits in super good. Like she's like just right when she hits the board, she just like gives you 10 power guaranteed. And then she works out super well with Ghost Quarter. I can even see messing around with like a green white value town Ghost Quarter like sort of thing with Titania to just reanimate a Ghost Quarter because you, you used to like do that in green white value town where you would like Ghost Quarter them and then you'd like violin um, a Renegade Rallier and return the Ghost Quarter to play. And Titania is like a bigger, fatter more beefier like 10 powers worth of renegade rallier and it, it's kind of like the same thing so if you think about it you can mess around with that kind of strategy she was just really strong i feel like she needs to see a little bit more modern play so yeah before i ramble that's gonna do it for this one give it a try thank you so much for watching the video if you enjoyed it be sure to hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe if you're new and a huge thanks to our Patreon supporters for making this channel possible. Their names are scrolling on screen. And if you would like to help monetize this channel as well, you can find the Patreon link down below. And we now do Commander streams with our patrons every Tuesday. And if you need to pick up some magic cards, TCGplayer.com's got you covered. You can find them through our deck list link down below and anything you purchase through that link really helps out the channel. And if you want to play some magic online, you should sign up with Mana Traders using the code that's listed in the description to save 15% and you can rent and play all the magic decks you want. It is what I personally use to make my videos. And finally, if you want to pick up a custom playmat or card sleeves using an art of your own, you can check out yourplaymat.com using the code MARIN10YP to save 10%. And of course, all the links are down below in the description. Again, thank you so much for watching the video, and I'll catch you in the next one.